Welcome back. In today's Your Money Matters, scary but true facts about your 401k. Personal finance expert Pamela Yellen is the author of Bank on Yourself. She's here now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I think when we think about our 401ks, we think about something that we're supposed to sort of leave alone and not think about. And yet you raise some interesting points that make me think, I need to not only think about this, but address this. And one of the big things that you talk about is the fact that there are certain things happening without your approval. Mm -hmm. And let's face it, in this economy, people are hiring younger and experienced people, and they may be the people investing your money. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's the big 401k secret. The companies are automatically increasing their workers' annual contributions, and they're automatically moving their money into more risky investments. And they're doing this with the government's encouragement. In a survey that was recently done, a study showed that 58% of the people who own these mutual funds that the government and employers are pushing on people now don't know, have a clue how they work or how risky they are. And a shocking fact that I uncovered is that 90% of all people work for companies where there are no requirements that they have any kind of special knowledge or credentials to make these decisions about our hard-earned money. So we should be looking more into this, right, into what they're doing? We should be looking more <laughs> into it. <laughs> Absolutely. Pay more attention. You say you have some big news when it comes to taxes. Oh. We've all just done our taxes, and, you know, we, of course, looked at our 401ks at that point, but you have some interesting news. Yes, there is a tax time bomb hidden in the 401k because one of the biggest appeals of it is that it lets you defer your taxes. But what direction do any of us think the taxes are going to go over the long term? Right. Okay, so if they do go up and you're successful in growing a nest egg, you're only going to pay, end up paying higher taxes on a bigger number. And in fact, even if taxes stayed the same, it's been estimated that over a 30-year period, you will end up paying 10 to 20 times more in taxes than the original tax break wow. you received up front. Oh so my, my advice is... Take the, take the, pay it your taxes now, at least you know what they are. Exactly, absolutely. And obviously we think about this as being our retirement nest egg, but there are some risks. There are absolutely risks. And in the 401k is all about risk. The number one question that you should be asking your plan manager, your financial advisor, and your stockbroker is, before you invest a single penny, can you tell me what my account will be worth on the day I plan to retire, and if you don't hit it, will you give me a money-back guarantee? Well, I guess that's the bigger question, because I don't think anyone can really predict what it's going to be at the time that we're going to retire. Well, then, <laughs> that's not true, and that's the whole point of why I wrote my book, Bank on Yourself, to show that there are alternatives. But if your advisor says, no, I'm not going to give you a money-back guarantee, fire them, because there are ways to grow wealth that you can predict and count on. Okay. Well, we'll have to look into that. We'll have to look into that more. Now, when you talk about uh, predictability and you talk about banking on yourself, mm -hmm. if you go to a bank right now and you need some money, it is tough for people to get loans. Should we be borrowing from ourselves? Should we be kind of dipping into our 401k now? You, uh, many companies won't even let you dip into your 401k, and if you do and then you lose your job, well, you're going to have to pay the loan back in full within 30 days or pay penalties and taxes. So it's not a good way to go, but there is a way to bank on yourself, and I have a $100,000 challenge behind it, hmm. that you can grow wealth without the risk of stocks and real estate. And I've, I, I, put, I know, and, and, and see, it. I've done what everybody else has done. For 20 years, I've done all the traditional investing methods, for, and I have nothing to show for it, pretty much. A other lot of than people the, are in the same exactly, boat. Exactly, other than the money that we put in and the sleepless nights that we've had. So my mission is to show people there's a proven alternative that lets you know exactly how much you can have guaranteed. And I put that $100,000 challenge out there so that people will never again have to suffer another lost decade or even a single lost year. And I don't charge a penny. If people want to take the challenge, I don't right. make anything. They can take it at bankonyourself.com, or I think they can link to it from the double WGN, WGN webpage. Super Absolutely, webpage. some great advice, and we can we can learn from your mistakes and from your advice. Pamela, thank you so thank much you, for being I here. It. And if you would like to learn more about Pamela's book, Bank on Yourself, and get more personal finance tips, check out her website, pamelayellen.com. And as we mentioned, you can always go to our webpage, wgntv.com. Actually, it's bankonyourself.com is our website. Thanks. Coming up in today's